Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through my luxury 2023 handbag and SLG collection. Happy New Year everybody, my name is Emma. I make weekly videos about luxury bags, shoes, fashion and lifestyle. So if that is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Well, the new year has brought good news to me because I have finally stopped vomiting. If you haven't been following me um, for long, you might not know that I'm currently pregnant with my second baby. I'm now 22 weeks pregnant and for the first 18 weeks, I was pretty much bedridden with non-stop vomiting. I just like tapped out of everything, YouTube, um, just life really in general. I was kind of like just basically trying to survive looking after my existing baby um, who is just one, just turned one two weeks ago. Uh, yes, but I feel so much better. This is the first time I think that I have put makeup on in like three or four months, I think. Um, yeah, so I was like, okay, I'm going to film my longest video of the year and get it done today. And I'm so, so excited to get into it. I think this will probably be the most popular video I do all year. It definitely was last year. And I think it is for everybody who um, kind of talks about luxury handbags on YouTube, because what better thing to showcase than your whole collection. I love looking at other people's collections on YouTube. So if you have done one, definitely link it down below in the comments. I love comparing my own collection um, and seeing anything that I can put on my wish list as well. Uh, yeah, I just absolutely love it. So I hope you really enjoy today's video. So I have decided to lump together my handbags and my SLGs. That's because I only really have two small SLGs, which are super heavy hitters in my collection. I use them every single day. Uh, but my other SLGs that I have are actually basically just bags. They're used as bags. I'm pretty sure they were designed to be used as bags um, by the designers. So you'll see what I mean when I go through it, but let's get right into it with the first bag. So I'm not gonna talk heaps about each bag, maybe just how long I've had it and something that I love about it, I guess, because otherwise this video is gonna go on and on and on. So I'm gonna start with LV. Um, so my first LV bag that I wanna show you is my Neo Noe. So I have this um, with the kind of ballerina, ballerina rose pink leather and it's in the monogram canvas. So I've had this bag since 2019. Um, and I think I've said before in the past, it is completely trashed. I have used this bag as my work bag um, for about a year. Um, the main issue with it is because the lining is that beautiful baby pink. You can still see I've got work things in at the moment. It just gets so disgustingly dirty. You can sort of see how gross that is. I should probably just send it to a bag spa. Um, but I do love it. I love the look of it. I think I was sort of influenced into buying this. I saw an Instagram picture of someone wearing it and it just looks so gorgeous that I pulled the trigger. It's super, super durable, despite the fact that it has so much wear and tear on it. Um, and I do love it. I won't sell it because it's just in a gross, trashy condition. Um, but yeah, I still get a bit of wear out of it. Not as much as I used to, for sure. If I was going to buy this again, I would get it with the black leather. I just think it would be a lot more durable. Um, but yes, love this bag, the Neo Noe. And my second LV bag, obviously I have this one, I feel like everybody does, um, is the Neverfull. I have it in the GM size, in the Damia Bean canvas. I bought this, I believe, at the end of 2018. Um, and again, I've used this bag for work, so it has absolutely uh, made its money back for me. And for the last year, I've actually used it my baby bag. So I have like a sort of special baby bag insert, um, this really good company in Australia called the Nappy Society, and they make like custom inserts for designer totes super awesome would recommend um yeah so it's definitely been very well used i've talked about this before there is some wear and tear on this bag the edging the kind of piping on the side of the handles has definitely melted so i do use this little handle protector that i got on etsy uh but yes excellent bag huge travel work baby bag gym bag it is so versatile so big and um, yes i do love it but i said before if this ever did um get damaged beyond wear i would not buy it again i don't think it's currently worth the price but I am still very, very happy that I have it in my collection. And then from LV, I do have the Toiletry 26 pouch. And this is the original one, not the new one that they brought up this year. Um, I bought this in June of last year. I had to get it pre-logged because you can't buy them anymore. Um, and obviously I had to pay a premium for it. Um, but I absolutely love it. I do use it as a clutch, but I did get the kind of conversion kit. I think I got it from Etsy. Um, with like the insert and then you just get the little chain to go with it as well so i kind of dress it up a little bit i can use it as a shoulder bag um but yes yeah, super super versatile and i really really love this just in the coated canvas really really durable of course in the beautiful monogram classic the toiletry 26. 
And then my final item from LV um, for this year is my key holder in the monogram. This is the six key holder. This is my one of my two SLGs that I use every single day. I absolutely love this. So you can fit your car key in, as you can see, your house key, I've got my work key in there as well. It is so good. This is in my bag with me every single day, regardless of what I'm doing. Um, protects the inside of your bag. I would highly recommend this. I bought this about two years ago, I think. And yeah, I've used it every single day since then. So definitely worth the cost, highly recommend. I'm just gonna say that I've sold two bags, I believe, since the last um, collection video I did. So I did sell my Saint Laurent fringed bucket bag that went to an awesome lady in Hawaii. I hope she's enjoying that bag. I also sold my Aspinall of London um, bucket bag as well to a subscriber in the UK, which I was really happy about because Aspinall is obviously a British brand quintessential and um, yes yeah, so those two have left my collection but obviously I have replaced and filled with other things so that being said let's just do Saint Laurent and um, so I have a couple of items from Saint Laurent in my collection this bag here it's my first one so this is the Lou camera bag in the medium size and I got it in the top with the embossed logo rather than the hardware logo because I was using this primarily for travel I didn't want a really flashy designer bag um, so the embossing just works really well for that but also it is so spacious I've done a review on this this is a fantastic bag I got this I think for $1,200 now the price has gone up so much on this thing I think I bought it in the beginning of 2019 I've had so much use I'm currently using this as my handbag because it's such a good crossbody bag and um, when you're kind of pushing a pram around love the little tassel detail as well everyone loves this bag right it's so versatile uh, but yes, 2019 at the beginning, I got it and it is just such a classic bag. I love the colour, it goes with everything. It is awesome. And I sold my other Saint Laurent bag, but my other SLG that I use every single day and have done it since I bought this thing back in like 2017 is my Saint Laurent card holder. I love that it matches um, my little bag and that it's got the embossed on there. Absolutely obsessed with this thing. It is definitely showing wear and tear now. You can sort of see little scratches and details. So... Maybe this is going to be the year that I'm going to replace this. If you have a recommendation for an awesome card holder, please let me know. I would happily just buy this one again. I'll have to see kind of what colorways they have in stock at the moment. Um, or maybe I'm willing to try a different brand as well. Um, so what do you think? I love this. It's, the cost per wear of this is probably like 50 cents a wear because I use it every single day and I have done for like the last five years. So completely and utterly worth it. Love this card holder. So I'm going to move on to Dior. I have two bags in my collection from Dior, both of which... I love dearly. Uh, so the first is the saddle bag. This is in the black calf skin, the grained calf skin, uh, not the smooth one. So it's super, super durable. It's got like basically nowhere in tear. It's in the medium size as well. It's a little bit dusty because I've had it on display in my bag room. Oops, um, should probably be involved and clean that. And there's the, just the gorgeous kind of gold hardware. This bag is obviously a love or hate bag. I have very different opinions on this from various people on YouTube and my friends. It does look like an internal organ or like a kidney bean or something, um, but I love this bag. It is so, um, I just think, yeah, it's, it's sleek, but it's also edgy because of the shape. It goes with everything. It's super comfy to wear. I think it's very ergonomic, the way that it kind of fits under your arm like that. My favorite way to wear a bag is a short shoulder bag as well. So it really just suits my style, I think. Um, and yeah, it's not hugely spacious because of the awkward shape, but whatever, it still fits your essentials in it. And yes, absolutely love this. I bought this back in 2019 as well. It was a pretty big year for bag purchases. Um, but yeah, absolutely love it. The classic Christian Dior medium saddle bag. And this one is in its dust bag because it's fairly new I think my second newest bag I got it this year and I got it because of a promotion that I received at work so I was sort of like wanting to buy a classic bag and I had like a few different um, options of bags I was going to look at and this one won out in the end so I'm so happy I've used it twice I think already absolutely obsessed with it so I have the Lady Dior here we go in the medium size and I have it in the white I'd say it's like an off-white kind of like a cream color and it has the champagne gold hardware there's those beautiful Dior charms obsessed with it comes with the shoulder strap detachable shoulder strap and it is in white kind of more cream I'd say lambskin super super soft I don't think it's as 
soft as Chanel lambskin, or at least this one isn't, um, but I'm happy about that because I think it is a little bit more durable. I have used it a few times and it's got no wear and tear on it from what I can see. Gorgeous handles. It is just such a beautiful bag. I can just stare at this one. It is so classic. Oh my gosh, quintessential Christian Dior. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. So I got it in September, I think, of last year, 2022. Um, yeah, and no regrets at all. Absolutely love it. I've just put like a little a Mez Twilly on the back as well, just to jazz it up a little bit. Uh, but yes, goes with everything. Classic. This is going to be in my collection for a very long time to come. Good job if you're still here and bearing with me. These videos can be so long. I think I've watched like 40 minute, 50 minute long collection videos like Mel in Melbourne or LV Lover CC and they have like hundreds of bags and you're like, oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, I think I have like 15. So mine isn't too overwhelming, but still well done for hanging in there. Uh, so I'm going to go on to Gucci. I love Gucci. I went through a bit of a Gucci phase in terms of shoes and belts and bags a few years ago, but I haven't bought anything for a while. And um, so my first Gucci bag is the Marmont. Uh, this is in the mini size, not the super mini, just the regular mini. I got this in 2018, I think my 30th birthday actually. Um, and even though there was obviously a lot of debate about the Marmont style, it's just going out of fashion. Um, I do absolutely love this bag. I don't see myself ever selling it, I guess, because I kind of associate it with my 30th, which was like a really good year as well. Um, and I do think that this bag will keep coming back into fashion as they tend to do. Um, I love it. So it's in the black calf skin. It's got the beautiful kind of vintage antique gold hardware, super, super gold. I love that you can wear it crossbody, but also on your shoulder as well. Like it's a really versatile style. Um, and yeah, it fits loads in, despite the fact that it is pretty small. I really, really enjoy this bag. I've had so much use out of it. So I've definitely gotten my cost per wear down. Um, and yeah, I don't care if it is in fashion or out of fashion, I will always keep wearing this bag. And my second Gucci bag is the Dionysus. Now, when I bought this, it was actually the medium size, but I feel like this is now called the small size, but I think it's like the most popular size. I believe it's big anyway. It's like probably 20, I think it's about 27 centimeters across the base there. Um, so this is in just the gorgeous like canvas with the suede and this kind of brushed silver hardware as well. Again, I love this bag. Obviously it is very identifiable as Gucci. It is super monogrammed. Um, I don't get as much use out of it. I got this one in 2019 as well, um, but I just love the gorgeous hardware, so iconic, and you can fit quite a lot in this bag. And um, the downside of it is that it's incredibly heavy, the hardware, and just the sheer amount of material made to use it, so it kind of has that accordion shape, makes it really, really heavy, but I love the color of it, such a versatile colorway, goes with everything. Love that you can kind of cross body it as well as wearing it on your shoulder. The strap is adjustable um, in that way. So yeah, very versatile, love this bag. Okay, so I've got a couple of bags here that are sort of retired from my collection, um, but I still have them. So the first one is from Mulberry, the British brand, I am British. And I think from the age of like 21 to about 26, I just bought Mulberry bags nonstop. I've sold them all now apart from this one. And um, this is pretty classic, so I have the Mulberry Alexa. This is in the kind of aged calf skin that gives it that really distressed look. Um, really classic bag. Obviously made very famous by Alexa Chung, the namesake of this bag. Um, gorgeous. Reminds me, I guess, of the Balenciaga City bag, but I definitely prefer this. Um, yeah, gorgeous aged gold hardware. Fits a ton. Huge capacity. I definitely believe that big bags are going to come back, and I do think that Mulberry will become big in Australia. And um, I guess I just don't really use this one. It's just almost a little bit too big, I guess, for my day-to-day -day needs. Uh, but I'm still keeping it in my collection because I do think I will use it again in the future. Yes, classic Mulberry bag. Had this one for a long time. I don't even know how long, like 2015 maybe. Um, but yes, absolutely love it. And here's another big bag that I have in my collection, I think since 2015 as well, maybe 2014. This is from Burberry and it is called the Ashby Bucket Bag. It is huge. I use this as a work bag um, for at least a year, maybe even two years. It's in this gorgeous kind of chestnut leather and then it has the classic Burberry check canvas. It has lots of camo print as well, which is pretty fun. And then it has these like really big tassels, which are pretty um, yeah, quintessential Burberry as well. 
love this thing really versatile with like the short shoulder strap but also the crossbody as well have used it to death really really big fan of this i don't use it anymore um, again i think it's just too big and there's probably too much wear and tear on it as well i have other big bags to choose from uh, but i still do have it in my collection keeping it safe in its dust bag yes burberry ashby bucket bag okay let's go on to chanel so i have a couple of pieces from chanel and um, my first ever bag from Chanel is the Coco Handle. Chanel Coco Handle, this is in the small size. So it's the one that has six quilts across the middle of it there. So not the mini size that got brought up after I bought this. Um, yeah, I was kind of umming and ahhing at the time. I've done a video on this about whether I get this or the medium size. The medium size looked a lot better on my frame just because I have like big hips, big shoulders. It suited me better. Um, but ultimately i knew that if i bought that i would use it like every day because it's more of kind of a work size bag whereas if i got this kind of small one it's around the same size as the medium um flat sorry the classic flat in the small size and um, i would just kind of not baby it but i would use it more for special occasions and i think for a bag that is very expensive and it's only going up in price and it's getting harder and harder to buy in store um yeah i didn't want to be tempted to use it all the time and trash it so yes this is probably one of the only bags in my collection that i kind of really care for like i don't really baby or maybe the lady dior because it's white and um, yeah i don't tend to baby my bags at all this one though i do sort of look after so it's in the black calf skin and it has the champagne gold hardware you can really see the difference say so, like between the gucci like the yellow gold and the champagne gold just has like it almost looks silver the champagne gold i think compared to kind of the classic yellow gold from gucci uh, but yes love this bag it is so cute um, it's pretty versatile because it does have the shoulder strap that you can take off so you can just have it as a little hand hold held bag you can also wear it on your shoulder which is how I tend to do it um yes it is very very cute indeed I think I got this in July of 2020 and I just got incredibly lucky um in the store I walked in and it was my first Chanel bag purchase and they had one available in stock and I remember that people were following me around the store um, in case I decided to not buy it. So it was obviously very much in demand. Um, but yes, do not regret it at all. It is so beautiful, so well made, so classic, puffy, gorgeous bag. Absolutely love it. And my second bag from Chanel is actually an SLG, but you'll see why nobody uses this thing as an SLG. So I have got a rectangular vanity on chain. So I have it from the, hmm, this is the 2021 and it's the spring summer it's the beginning of 2021 they brought up this raffia and they had it in like an orange and a blue and then this kind of neutral raffia color i saw this vanity on chain and i was like i am going to get that that is so cute so dinky and um, but still fits your phone in it um and your essentials super super cute but yeah, you could not get this anywhere. This was sold out. I think they had one orange one in Perth in Australia. And other than that, there was none in the whole of the country. So I did have to buy this through a reseller. I paid barely any premium, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, the price was good on this because now looking at this on the secondhand market, it's like double, even triple what I paid for it. So very, very thankful. It is in the raffia and it is lambskin as well on the base. And then obviously with the strap and the little details, super, super cute. Again, this is an SLG still on the Chanel website. The vanities are classed as SLGs. I don't know anyone who carries their makeup around in a vanity this small, because I mean, people tend to have loads of makeup um, and use a strap. So I don't think that this is meant to be, even by Chanel standard used, as an SLG. It's definitely a bag. So you can see it's just fabric line with the black card slots. And then it's got like the little, it's got like a little lipstick compartment as well, which is really cute. Uh, but yes, I do definitely use this as a bag, not as a makeup container. Um, yes, it is very, very cute. Fits your phone. I just have like a regular size Samsung S21 if you were interested in getting this bag i don't know if it would fit the larger sized max phones definitely fits mine plus my card holder my key holder fits some makeup in there my glasses so it is awesome i absolutely love this tiny little cutie super super gorgeous so my next bag is probably the only kind of contemporary slash high-end bag i have in my collection maybe contemporary so i got this this year for my birthday from my siblings and i am absolutely obsessed with this bag i have not had chance to use it really but then again i've had a chance to use zero bags this year because i am a new mom 
and then I've been like so sick and pregnant, right? So, oh, I love this bag so much. This is an, the Anine Bing, Anine Bing Nico bag, and I got it in the camel check, the oversized camel check, which I believe was a new um, print that came out this year. This bag is just so beautiful like it just embodies so much perfection in terms of bags in my opinion for my personal style short shoulder bag love it tweed i really am getting into my textures and my i guess next chanel purchase if i was to make another chanel purchase would be a tweed um classic flap ideally um but yeah tweed i just love it and also this color is just so beautiful and versatile this camel color goes with everything um, I definitely love my kind of more gold leaning neutrals. So yes, this is just a beautiful bag. It is big as well. It is like, I think, I believe 27 centimeters across the bottom there. So you can fit heaps in leather lined, got this gorgeous little lock hardware. Oh, it's so stunning. It just has like black leather inside. Love this bag. Like I need to go out more so I actually get a chance to use it. I think I was influenced into buying this as well. I saw it on Chase Amy. I think she got it maybe on her YouTube channel. I was like, I need that bag. So yes, highly, highly recommend. And I think it was, it's probably gone up now, but I think I only paid $450 for it. So pretty awesome. Absolutely gorgeous. And Neen Bing, Nico bag. Oh man, I feel like I can't really be chatty in this video. Hey, like you're just trying to get through so much. You don't want the video to be too long. So I'm hoping that you are bearing with me and that you are entertained by this. So this is the last bag that I'm going to go through. And um, it is new this year as well. And I haven't used this one either. Oh my gosh, I really need to go out. Um, but I was again influenced into buying this. I think this was on Tamara's YouTube channel, maybe. From like a kind of promotional event thing or something she did with jimmy choo and i saw this and i was like oh i need it so it's just in this little jimmy choo dust bag super cute and i got this maybe in september october from netta porter so it is oh my gosh look how cute this thing is oh my gosh it's gorgeous so this is the bonnie bag the jimmy choo bonnie bag you can see that the little jc charm there super super sweet and this is in the gold leather it is in the softest calf skin it is so beautiful it reminds me a lot i guess of the bottega um, mini jody bag it has that same kind of slouchy dumpling like silhouette oh it's so cute and it also comes with a chain so of course you can choose to wear it on your shoulder or you i don't believe you can detach it but you can just and tuck it in i like how it's like super gold gold on gold it looks so lox so i did buy this because i don't own any evening bags um and i was like going on like i went to loads of evening events i definitely don't um but i do have a special 30th birthday and it's at a very nice venue coming up in i think the end of this month actually in a few weeks so i think i'm gonna try and start my outfit um so that i can wear this bag and give it its debut outing super cute so yeah bonnie bag sweet definitely fits your essentials even though it is super mini gold calf skin with the gold hardware jimmy choo so gorgeous okay so that is it my 2023 luxury handbag and slg video see where i put my slgs in the video like i barely have any i'm not great at buying them i have like one card holder and i don't know why i would ever swap out to like various card holders um, and I have one key holder and they serve me so well they're amazing so I think I'm gonna do another video this time it will be my shoe my luxury shoe collection and um, I do think considering it today that I do have a lot of peace with my luxury shoe collection I think I completed it with a purchase I made that I unboxed in last week's video so I feel very very happy with my luxury shoe collection um, and I'll probably try and add like accessories into that as well like belts and that sort of thing luxury belts and um, so that's going to be a video i'm going to do in the very near future i do have another bag to add to my collection i have an unboxing that i'm literally going to film straight after this because why waste this opportunity i'm wearing makeup after all and um, so yes i guess that i'm already adding to my collection for next year's video and um, i haven't done my wish list yet for 2023 but i feel there's going to be a couple of bags on there i think um, possibly another Saint Laurent. I've got my eye on one and also, of course, always a Mezzig on there. Like the Picatin, 22 in gold. When will you be delivered to me? Come on, please. I'm just waiting on my essay. Um, and then obviously one day, the ultimate dream, the Birkin. The Birkin 35 black. Ooh, gosh, I hope so. 
Um, okay, so thank you so much for watching this video, making it to the end if you did so. If you enjoyed it, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Link your own collection videos down below. I love, absolutely love watching them. And comment as well. Do you have any of the same bags as me? Which is your favorite bag? Um, yes, let me know. But I hope wherever you are in the world, you have an absolutely excellent day and I will see you next week in my next video. Bye guys.